It's sod's law that you will always meet loads of boats on blind bends and under bridges. Saying that, I don't think I've seen the canals this busy in a long time. At least since pre-2020. Now around a mile to Napton Junction. of Aslan and the Gent to be seen their travels before. Well, did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. This here is Napton Junction. Came up a bit sooner than I thought. Just comes at you out of nowhere. Right, anywhere along here then will do me as a mooring because Napton itself is a nice simple walk. Armco here, but a little bit further, I think. Napton Marina. Well, that wind's picking up. An impressive fleet of hire boats. This is easily the windiest canal I've ever been on. I thought the Lancaster was windy in places, but this easily takes top prize. The canal now circles round the hill, which is where the village of Napton is situated. Not so much in one spot, but sprawling all over. Could this be some visitor moorings down here? This one right at the end looks very attractive. As attractive as a mooring can be. Yep, this'll do. I'm taking it. Lazy luck shine down on me there. Hmm. 
Now for a walk to Napton. Uh, it looks like it's quite a way, probably about a mile and a half. Uh, but what I've seen of the towpath, uh, it's not doesn't sort of lend itself to uh, you know, like cycling. It is very, very beautiful around here. Very remote. That's the way I like it. I'd spend more time in remote areas. The only thing that draws you to a town, really, is food. Fortunately, there's a little village shop in uh, Napton. So that's where I'm heading. Just around the corner uh, is a bridge and the first of the nine locks uh, at Napton, which means we take a turning and uh, go along a lane to the village shop. Very handy water point here. So before I go up the locks tomorrow into the middle of nowhere, as well as getting food, I'll just brim the uh, water tank again. It's very warm. Can't complain though, because it could be wet and horrible. There's the first of the nine locks. All uphill, but after that, every lock we come across will be downhill, all the way to Oxford. Now along the lane. The old uh, red berry bushes. I'm not quite sure of the name. That's not, is it Hawthorne? Well, you don't get much more fabulous than that. Right up my street. Lovely. Every village needs a Christ Christadelphian meeting room. The village stores. I don't uh, always film in these places because uh, sometimes the owners get a bit funny if you mention the word camera. Oh, there you are. They had the right attitude. They were delighted for me to have a little film around. Uh, as the owner said, it's all free advertising. And I said, exactly. So if you have a business that's uh, refused me to film around in the past, it's your loss, isn't it? A very good day YouTubers and this has been the perfect spot 
to spend five days or so near Napton on the hill getting down to some good old-fashioned editing. I'm not the only one who's been busy during the week. The local farmer here mowed and baled his entire field in just two days. Besides myself and the farmer, something else has been extremely busy this week, and that's the canal. Today, Aslan and I have our work cut out. The plan is to travel around about two miles to a tiny part derelict and partly inhabited hamlet of Marston Dolls. Along the way, however, there are in the space of around two miles, nine locks in fairly quick succession, and all of them uphill. I'm hoping that because the canals are very busy, being peak summer and school holiday period, uh, there's going to be lots of boats waiting to come in and out of these locks. Fingers crossed, judging by the amount of boats, there's going to be somebody at most locks that'll help me, whether they want to or not. <laughs> This entire stretch of the Oxford from Hawkesbury Junction and right down to Banbury is exceptionally rural and apart from the shop at Braunston, the shop at Napton on the Hill and the shop at Fenny Compton, there is nowhere else to get supplies. I'm not knocking small independent village stores. They are extremely handy. And in situations such as this, it's the only choice. The only problem is they do tend to be a little bit on the expensive side. And over a period of time, the extra cost soon starts to add up. the very splendid disused windmill on the hill at Napton. I had planned on taking a stroll up the hill to the windmill and have a little film about. I then discovered that it's actually private property and forms part of a very impressive looking house.
First time I've ever seen someone do a complete 360 in a windy now. The wind got them. They're uh, in good humour about it. Yes, very, very busy today. It is a Sunday after all. The first lock is only a few yards beyond this bend. But first of all, because I've been moored up for five days, I'm just going to quickly top my water tank. Thank you. It's getting ominously dark, but according to the font of all knowledge, the Met Office, it's not supposed to precipitate. Water done, and now waiting for my turn to go into the lock. While I wait my turn, I've just been told on very good authority that the uh, national discount sort of wholesale chain Home Bargains has uh, just put out its Christmas range. It's August the 27th, all citizens are invited to exercise their free will and prepare for Christmas. It's lovely boat. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely engine. Thank you. Oh, there's the one waiting there. Uh, yeah, there's, there's boats coming down. Um, like I said, it's so busy, yeah. And just like that, the sun's come out. I didn't know George Formby was going to be making an appearance. Typical. All those boats, in and out the locks. My turn comes along. There's no boats waiting to come down. So I've got to do it myself. Eee, I don't know. Just the one paddle for now. Don't want a repeat of what happened in season eight at Middlewich, where I ripped off the uh, flue from my water heater and the side cleat, all because of a narrow lock done too quickly.
We suddenly get a very nice view here. Well, so long napped in on the hill. And heading for the next log. Number two. Or number eight, depending on which direction you're going. A shame to waste all this water, but there isn't anyone coming down. The boat is behind, they're new to the sport, it's their first day today, hired a boat. There was this boat coming down from the lock above so I uh, saved the water. Let them in first, and then I'll go in afterwards. It's suddenly gone from deathly quiet to a hectic again. Thank you. Fourth lock, five to go. And the canals have gone from unbelievably busy last weekend and through the week, and very busy yesterday on Saturday. But very little today. Napton on the hill steadily retreats and now moving into the back of beyond again. That was the fourth lock but it feels like I've been doing the fourth lock for two to three locks. Don't seem to be getting anywhere but I am.
lock number five then. And where's all the boat traffic gone? There's a boat coming down and this lock is more full than empty so I'm going to top it back up and they can come in first. Ah, can have a break now, at least for one lot. There's nothing like being surrounded by a large group of holiday hire boaters, all with windlasses in their hands, stood around watching you while you uh, sweat your doodads. Oh, I've been dreaming about that. That was uh, quite intensive, that. <laughs> 